Baby dolls are a rich part of our culture dating back as far as 1912 and while many things have changed, some traditions still stand strong. This morning we're joined by baby doll sisterhood, which is how they represent themselves when they're joining from different groups. So spokesperson Anita Ubre is from the Mahogany Blue B Blue Baby Dolls. We're also joined by Janice Kimball, Alicia Stevenson Bush, and Constance Jacobs. And thank you ladies so much for being here. You look absolutely fantastic. This is the time of the year I'm sure you guys all live for. So Anita, tell us a little bit more about the history though, all the way back to 1912. Yes, absolutely. So um, around 1912 is um, historically, um, there are historical records and uh, lore and legend that says the baby doll started in an area of town called Black Storyville in the red light district. Okay. These were women of color who had no other means to support themselves. And they were the first to integrate Mardi Gras. And you know, at that time you couldn't even show an ankle, but they uh, wore short dresses, they had uh, razor blades in their brassiere, and they smoked cigars, and they came out and they walked ratty, and they said, here we are. Uh, it was the beginning of feminism as we know it today. And gosh, you guys are still going strong over a century later. Absolutely. We and there's 23 different organizations or 23 different groups, and you guys are either born in or you're invited to join. And your grandmother was actually a part of the original baby dolls. Tell me more about that and which group you're from. Okay, yes, well, I'm from the Treme Baby Dolls, and also my grandmother was Louise Phillip, and she was a gold digger baby doll. And, like, I started before Katrina, and she did get to see me. As oh, that's, the baby that's so doll. neat. Okay, yes. Fantastic. So. And your grandmother as well? Oh, oh my auntie, I'm sorry. That's your my auntie. auntie okay. Is Queen Mercy Stevenson, and my baby doll name is Baby Doll Glamour, and I'm with OWT. Queen Mercy Baby Dolls. Glamour, you're absolutely <laughs> rocking it. Thank I mean, y'all's outfits are so intricate. And let me just see the belting on your beautiful dress. Mm. What group are you from? I am Baby Doll London of Labanton Baby Dolls. Okay, okay. And I am an invited baby doll as oh. a culture bearer and a tour guide and a historian. I was invited into the culture. How long have you been a part? I've been a part of the culture for about oh, almost five years now. Okay, what's your favorite part? Oh, my favorite part is just being in the streets and when the little girls look and say, oh, it's a baby doll. We're walking, talking, moving baby dolls that just jumped off their shelf. I love to have a good time. Oh, that's fantastic. I didn't get everybody's name. What is your baby doll name? My baby doll name is um, Trimmy Baby Doll, and also I am called Baby Doll Butterfly Jan. <laughs> so important she's got two names. What is your name? They call me Magnolia Rose. And you, your membership from two-year-olds all the way up to 85-year-olds. Tell us more about that and just the blessing of the streets. Sure, uh, right around 12th night, uh, annually, we have what's called the Blessing of the Street, where we invite new baby dolls into the culture. Uh, this year, Mahogany Blue was honored to invite in Lois Thomas, who is an 85-year-old. Um, I attend church with her at St. Augustine, and she saw me for Treme Fest all dressed up, and she said, how do I become a baby doll? I want to baby doll. So we were all very happy to initiate her and bring her on board to the sisterhood. Such an exclusive group, though, because I know you only had 10, you only welcome 10 new members for all 23 groups this year. That is so cool. Something so neat to be a part of. And where can people find you guys around the parade routes this year? Well, we're really excited to uh, partner with Le Bon Ton Baby Dolls on Friday night for the crew of Oshun. Okay. And um, we're going to show up and show out. We'll also be... Uh, I would expect nothing less. <laughs> Uh, the following week, you can find us in Druids, Mystic Crew of Druids Parade, and um, we'll be out at the Zulu festivities on Lundi Gras. And on Mardi Gras Day, you will find us in front of the place to be at the Zulu lineup over on South Claiborne. All right, guys, thank you so much, and we hope you stick around because we want to see more of those dance moves. And we just heard where you can catch the baby dolls this uh, around the city this carnival season, so definitely keep your eye out for them. And